Lucas here, and today I'm going to be attempting the 100 layer shirt challenge. Now, if you guys saw my channel trailer that I uploaded over two weeks ago, you guys would have saw more towards the end of the video that instead of doing reaction videos like I've done the past few years, this year I'm going to be changing things up and bringing back challenge videos, this time on a regular basis, which I'm going to be uploading them every other Friday and occasionally every other Saturday, just like I did with my reaction videos and like I do now with my skits. And also, if you guys remember the last time that I did a challenge video, it was over a year ago when I attempted the Raw Onion Challenge, which I ended up failing pretty miserably at. I only ended up beating one out of the three onions that I had prepared for the video, so I'm really hoping for redemption today, as like I said, I'm going to be attempting the 100 layer shirt challenge. So anyways, let's get right into the challenge. I have 9 to 9 shirts all ready to go, including the one that I have on right now. So without further ado, let the challenge begin in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so I have a shirt on right now, so there's one. Yeah, that might be as far as I'm gonna get it. I'm at 39, trying to go for 40. It's just stuck on my back. Yeah, I'm just not gonna be able to quite get it. Oh, dang it. I'm just not able to get quite to the halfway point. Ugh. Yeah, I'm just not able to quite get it. Alright, well, I got to 39, just wasn't able to quite get to 40. Alright guys, that's much it for this video. As you guys saw, I was only able to get on 39 out of the 100 shirts that I was supposed to put on for the challenge. So as of now, I'm kind of on a little bit of a losing streak, since I ended up failing the Raw Onion Challenge and now the 100 Layer Shirt Challenge. So I'm really hoping for redemption in my next challenge video that I do, which if you guys still enjoyed today's challenge video, be sure to put down in the comments below challenge ideas that you guys think that I should do for a video. And if I end up picking your idea, I may end up doing it for either my next challenge video or for a challenge video that I do sometime in the future. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Or later.
just about to head to bed for the night. And what are you even doing barging into my house this late at night anyways? I could ask you the same question, Richard. Why did you barge into my house earlier and kidnap my mom? I have no idea what you're even talking about kidnapping your mom. Do you hear yourself right now? That is absolutely ridiculous. Why would I even think of doing something like that to her? And besides that, that fight between me and your dad was never over. We still need to finish that fight. Oh really? So if you weren't the one that kidnapped her, then why do you have a trash bag hiding behind the chair under your desk? Also, not to mention, you were literally the only other person other than my dad that was trying to go after her. So who else could it be? Oh, that bag just has a lot of my old valuable stuff in it. I just didn't know where else to put it around here. Here, I'll even open it to show you for proof since you're so curious about it. Okay. Hey, baby! Where'd she go? There's the duct tape. I'm not really sure where the rope went. She was literally just hit. talking about she? So you were the one that kidnapped my mom. Yeah, I... No, I didn't. Okay, fine. Yes, I did. But only because she's still married to me. There was never any official divorce papers signed yet, so you can't just take her away from me like that. You realize I can call the police and have you put in jail for doing something like this? Oh, come on now. We don't need to get into all that. Oh, and why shouldn't I? After all the problems you caused with my family. Because don't you want to find your mom? I'm being legit serious. I have no idea where she went. I hid her under the desk because I thought I heard someone coming, and after I turned around to see who it was coming towards my house, she somehow very quietly untied the ropes around her hand and took off the duct tape over her mouth, and somehow snuck out of the trash bag without me even noticing. Yeah, of course I'm gonna help to try to find my mom. She means everything to me. Mom! Dolly! be being serious about this. Cause I don't care how she could have crawled through these tight of spaces. Heck, I don't even know if I could crawl through these small spaces. Like I said, I'm being legit serious. This is my wife we're talking about. I'm not trying to mess around right now. Mom, if you can hear me, please come out from wherever you're hiding. Darlene, where did you go? There's no way she could have gone that far in that little of time like that. I don't even get how she couldn't have made any noises. Now with all this stuff around. Guys, Blee Andrews here, and today I'm gonna be attempting the dried cereal challenge. Now, if you guys saw my previous challenge video that I uploaded a few weeks ago where I attempted the 100 layer shirt challenge, you guys saw in that video that I ended up failing that challenge, I was only able to get on 39 out of the 100 shirts that I was supposed to put on for the challenge. So for today's challenge video, I'm once again looking for redemption, as like I said, I'm gonna be attempting the dried cereal challenge. Which what I need to do for this challenge is pretty plain and simple. I need to do a bowl of dried cereal as fast as I can without any milk in the bowl or any other drinks with me to help me eat the cereal. So since I need a bowl of cereal for this challenge, I'm going to go pour a bowl of cereal real quick. So I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back with a bowl of cereal and the cereal that I'm going to be eating for this challenge is Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Which I feel like might make it even more of a challenge, especially because I have cinnamon in it. And eating cinnamon by itself is already known for making people's mouths really dried. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens when I attempt the challenge. So anyways, let's get right into the challenge. So without further ado, let the challenge begin in 3, 2, 1. Man, it is getting hard to swallow. <laughs> Cinnamon is really making it hard.
has so much cinnamon on it, it's, that makes it really hard to swallow. spoonfuls. Here we go, the final bite. Alright, there we go. As you guys can see, I ended up finishing the challenge. After multiple um, failed challenges that I've done the past couple times, I ended up failing two challenges the raw onion challenge, and then last time, the 100 layer shirt challenge. Now, I completed a challenge once again. Alright guys, that's going to be for this video. As you guys saw, I was able to successfully complete the challenge after, like I said, failing the past two challenges, the raw onion challenge and the 100 layer shirt challenge, which I have to admit, for this challenge, it was a pretty easy challenge, but it was also kind of difficult as well. First of all, because the cereal was dried, and secondly, when I would get a ton of cinnamon on one spoonful at a time, it definitely made it a lot harder for me to swallow as well. So anyways, if you guys did enjoy today's challenge video, be sure to put that in the comments below. Challenge ideas that you guys think that I should do for a video, and if I end up picking your idea, I may end up doing it for either my next challenge video or for a challenge video that I do sometime in the future. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later. Alright, well, let's hurry up and get in here and find a seat. You can sit down there with the rest of the boys and girls down by the stage. I guess I'll take this empty seat and sit back here with the rest of the adults and watch the show. Dad, are you excited to see Mr. Humphrey? Oh yeah, I'm excited alright. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, put your hands together for the amazing and marvelous Mr. Humphrey. Yeah, there he is. Thank you, thank you everyone for coming out to my magic show tonight. Now tonight is going to be such a magical night because as you guys can see, I brought a full bag of tricks with me that hopefully you guys will enjoy. But before we get into my magic show, like I do for all my shows, I have one question that I have to ask you guys and it's a very important question. Are you guys ready to see some magic tonight? Yeah! Oh, come on now, you guys can do better than that. I know you guys can. Let's try that again, shall we? I said, are you guys ready to see some magic tonight? Yeah! Now that's more like it. Now before I get into my first trick, I first have to tell you guys some bad news. When I was on the way here, I realized I forgot my magic wand at home. But don't worry, I don't want that to ruin the show for you guys. So I'm just going to use my magical hands instead. So anyways, now the first trick that I'm going to be showing you guys is the disappearing hanky trick. Which is one of the first tricks that I learned when I first started learning how to do magic. So what I'm going to need is my magic hat. And then I have to reach into my bag of tricks and get out a hanky. Yep, here's my hanky. So now what I want to do is put the hanky in my magic hat. Now I have to say the magic word. Abracadabra. Now watch this, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls. My hanky disappeared. It is nowhere to be seen in my hat. But watch this. We're gonna say the magic words again, and my hanky's gonna reappear. Abracadabra. Watch this. My hanky reappeared. Dad, did you see that magic trick? Oh yeah, I saw it alright. Too bad it was fake though. What are you talking about it was fake? That looked like a real trick to me. Just watch the next trick that he does. You'll see that it's not real. Alright, so another next trick that I'm going to show you guys is called the magnetic pencil trick. And it is a trick that I learned just a few years ago actually. And what I'm going to need for this trick is a pencil, once again out of my bag of tricks, 
And what I'm going to do with this pencil is put it down on the table, and now I'm going to say the magic word. Abracadabra. And now watch this, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls. I'm going to put my hand down on the pencil. Look at that. It's stuck to my hand just like a magnet. It won't even come off. So now, to get it off, I'm going to have to do just like I do with a magnet, and I'm going to have to pull it as hard as I can and try to get it off my hand. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. I've got the pencil off my hand. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you guys are enjoying the show so far. You see what I mean? That still looks like a real magic trick to me. Trust me, I've seen real magic before. The tricks he's doing aren't even real. Okay, whatever you say, but I still think they're real, though. Alright, I can't stand watching this magic show anymore. Steve, let's go. But why? The magic show's only half over. Because I'm not going to continue to watch this fake idiot show me how to do fake magic tricks. He hasn't done one real trick all night. But Dad, I want to stay and watch the rest. I don't really care. I'm not going to continue to sit here and waste my time watching this fake magic show. This is nowhere worth the 40 bucks in total that I paid for both of us to come here and watch this. Now let's go. Fine, but I wanted to watch the rest of it though. Alright, so now for my next trip. Wait, where are you guys going? You guys are just going to get up and leave during the middle of my magic show? Yeah, I'm going to get up and leave because your tricks are fake. Oh, you think my tricks are fake? Well, how can I hurt my feelings? Well, you deserve to have your feelings hurt out there showing all these people your fake magic tricks instead of some real ones. Now, I'm not going to stick around and talk to you any longer. I've stuck through your so-called magic show long enough. I'm getting out of here. I have better things to do today. All right, fine. Then just get out of here, then. I don't want to waste your time making you beer on my magic show if you think my magic tricks are fake. Just leave, then. That's exactly what me and my son were doing, so have a great rest of your day continuing to show all these people all your fake magic tricks. Alright, watch this, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Wait, hold on a second. Before you leave, I want to ask you a question. What's the question? Since you think my tricks are fake, would you think they were real if I were to do a trick like this? Abracadabra! <laughs> <laughs> That's to teach him a lesson not to leave during the middle of my magic show and call my tricks fake. Where did he go? What did you do with my dad, Mr. Humphrey? Hey guys, Blee Andrews here, and since in my last challenge video that I did where I attempted the dried cereal challenge, I got a challenge request down in the comments below from a channel by the name of the Sports Guy 98 asking me if for a future challenge video I could try to eat an entire jar of pickles. So today I'm going to be doing exactly that, and I'm going to be attempting the jar of pickles challenge. Now if you guys did see my challenge video that I uploaded a few weeks ago where I attempted the dried cereal challenge, you guys saw from that video that I ended up completing that challenge, I was able to eat the entire bowl of dried cereal and ended up snapping the losing streak that I was on after failing the past two challenges previously to that. So today I'm looking to continue my winning streak as like I said I'm going to be attempting the jar of pickles challenge which what I need to do for this challenge is simply just eat a jar of pickles. It doesn't really matter the pace that I go at. I just have to try to finish the entire jar. So since I need a jar of pickles for this challenge I'm going to go get a jar of pickles real quick so I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back with a jar of pickles, and the pickles that I'm going to be eating for this challenge are dill pickles. So now since I have my jar of pickles, let's get right into the challenge. So without further ado, let the challenge begin in 3, 2, 1. Mmm, these are good pickles. So as you guys can see, I ended up finishing all the pickles in the jar, but I haven't completed the challenge just yet. There's still one more thing that I need to do in order to officially complete this challenge. After eating all those pickles, I need to wash it down with the rest of this pickle juice. Ah, all 
Alright guys, thanks so much for this video. As you guys saw, I was able to successfully complete the challenge and continue my winning streak. After, like I said earlier, I was able to successfully complete the Dried Zero challenge in the last challenge video that I did, which just like the Dried Zero challenge, this challenge was also a pretty easy challenge. The only thing that was difficult about it was the pickle juice was kind of sour, and it almost made me cough a couple of times throughout the challenge, especially when I went to swallow some of the pickles a couple of times, and even when I straight up drink the pickle juice, at the end of the challenge as well. So anyways, if you guys did enjoy today's challenge video, be sure to put down in the comments below challenge ideas that you guys think that I should do for a video. And if I end up picking your idea, I may end up doing it for either my next challenge video or for a challenge video that I do sometime in the future. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Or later. Hey guys, Bleanders here, and yesterday afternoon, my dad and I got back from our trip out to Kansas. So today, I'm going to show you guys my experience from our trip.
Now on our trip out to Kansas on Saturday morning when my dad and I left to head out there, since we were flying in a plane to get there, we went to the airport and we had two different flights to go on. We had a layover flight first to Washington DC, and then a second flight to Kansas City, Missouri. And once we got in Missouri, since we got to our hotel room and our room wasn't able to be checked into yet, we decided to head over to the racetrack to Kansas Speedway, which was right across the border in Kansas, and went to the Hollywood Casino that they have right behind turn two at the racetrack. And while we were there, we ended up having dinner there, and we were also able to watch the Truck Series race that afternoon and the Xfinity race later that night from the restaurant window, since both of those series also had races at Kansas the same weekend as the Cup Series did. Then the next day on Sunday, my dad and I headed back over across the border to Kansas to head back over to the racetrack for the seventh race of the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs at Kansas Speedway, which as you guys saw from my experience that I was able to record from the race, Chase Elliott started on the pole with Joey Logano starting alongside him in second for the running of the Hollywood Casino 400. And as you guys also saw, Chase Elliott ended up winning Stage 1, Denny Hamlin ended up winning Stage 2, and Joey Logano ended up going on to get the win at Kansas. So congrats to Joey Logano on winning the 7th race of the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs at Kansas Speedway and locking himself into the next round of the playoffs. Also, be sure to watch the 8th race of the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs at Texas Motors Speedway next Sunday at 3.30pm Eastern Time. Then the next day on Monday, instead of going to the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum like we were originally planning on going to, we found out that the museum was actually closed on Mondays, so my dad and I decided to go to the Kansas City Zoo instead, which unfortunately I wasn't able to record any videos from my experience from the zoo. And then yesterday morning, my dad and I had to get up early and leave our hotel in Missouri to head back to the airport and catch our flight back home. Which again, on the way home, we ended up having two different flights to go on. We had a layover flight first to Chicago, and then a second flight back home. So in the end, I think it ended up being a really fun trip. Alright guys, that's much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Or later. here and since Christmas was last Friday, like I've been doing for the past four years now here on the channel, today I'm going to be showing you guys what all I got for Christmas this year. So the first things that I'm going to show you guys that I got this year are two Christmas cards. The first one that I got reads, Christmas is fun, Christmas is nifty, you're getting this card, that's also your gifty. And then I also got a second card. That reads, for your grandson at Christmas, with memories and smiles, with affection and pride, with family love from deep down inside, with the best kind of wishes, from the best kind of day to a grandson who's special in every way, Merry Christmas. I also got a few gift cards. I got a $50 Visa gift card. $25 Visa gift card and I got a $20 Visa gift card which I did ask for these gift cards on my list this year and then I also got a $20 Sheets gift card which sometimes on the weekends my younger brother and I like to go to Sheets to get food so the next time that I go with him to go get food there I'll definitely put that card to good use I also got two PS4 games the first one that I got is Project Cars 3, which I also asked for on my list this year. And so far since Christmas, I have gotten to play it a few times, and I have to say it definitely is a pretty cool racing game and has really good graphics. And then the other game that I got is Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2, which is a PS4 remake to the original game that came out on the PS1. And so far I haven't gotten around to playing it yet, but I'm sure once I do get to play it, I'm going to have a little bit of nostalgia because when I was younger, I used to play other Tony Hawk skating games on my old PS2. I also got a new bed set since my other one that I had previously to this one that I had since I was little was starting to get in rough shape. And so far, since I've had it since Christmas, 
I found that it's a lot comfier than my other one, and I also like it because it's blue, which is one of my favorite colors. I also got Beats Solo 3 wireless headphones, which I also asked for on my list this year. And so far, since having them, I feel like they have a pretty good sound and also a pretty good bass as well. And what I also like about them is that they also are pretty small compared to other headphones that Beats has. So I feel like if I would want to travel with them and take them on the go, I feel like I'd definitely be capable of doing so pretty easily. I also got 8 pairs of men's Puma Crew socks, which I'm honestly not in desperate need of any socks, but I'll definitely still wear them and put them to good use. I also got the Dire of a Wimpy Kid collection set, and also the two newest books in this series as well. And I'm honestly really happy that I was able to get this because I've been a fan of the Dire of Wimpy Kid book series since all the way back when I was in middle school, and at that time I did really want to start collecting them, but I just never did then, so I'm glad that after all these years I was finally able to get the entire collection, and I'm honestly really excited to start reading them again, and go back and read the ones that I have read before, and also read the ones that I haven't read before, so I'll be able to catch up in this series. And then last but not least, I got a few candies, I got a Link Lindor Caramel Milk Chocolate Truffle Bar, a Nico Candy Wafers, a Jelly Belly Jelly Beans, a Link Lindor Chocolate Teddy Bear, and then I got a few miniature bars, I got a Twix, a Snickers, Musketeers and a Milky Way. Alright guys, that's my trip for this video. If you guys did end up celebrating Christmas this year with either your family or friends or whoever you ended up celebrating it with, hopefully all of you ended up having a safe and merry Christmas. I know my family and I ended up having a really good Christmas this year. And also, hopefully all of you ended up getting, if not everything, almost everything that you asked for on your list. I know I ended up getting a few of the things that I asked for on my list this year, like Visa gift cards, Project Cars 3 for the PS4, Beat Solo 3 wireless headphones, and the entire Dire of Wimpy Kid collection set. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video or later.